I know it's chilly outside, but it's warm and toasty in this kitchen. So what was for dinner tonight? We're just getting ready to eat. It's a late one. So we are making root beer ribs in our rock rock slow cooker. Yummy. So this is how we did it. So slow cooking means you prepare four to six hours ahead. And that's what I did because I did it on slow. But you can do it on fast and it can be ready in a couple hours for you. So we took our slab of ribs and you'll be getting the recipe so don't worry about writing this down. We took our slab of ribs and then one really important thing, and you know how great my knives are here, pointy sharp. And you're going to lay them meaty side down. So I know everybody has seen sparrows before. So meaty side down right on your cutting board. And then you're going to have the top where the ribs are, where the rib bones are. And I want you to take and I want you to puncture just a little hole in there. And just start pulling up. There's a little sheet of uh, just a, a little, it looks like saran wrap almost. You need to do that. The reason is it melt will make your ribs tough if you don't remove it. And the other thing, it doesn't allow the fat to escape. So we're all about healthy cooking. So we don't want to keep the fat in there. We want to let it loose and we want to let it out. So that's what you want to do. So just take that little membrane and you just peel it off. It's just like peeling a piece of saran wrap off. So then what you're going to do, and I took my bigger knife, of course, for this, um, my big 8-incher, and it's backwards, so I can't see it, but I took and I cut this, and it was a 3-pound uh, rack of ribs. So I cut it into four different sections, so about 4 inches a piece. And then I took, and here's the important thing, you know, it says, calls for our smoky barbecue rub, which is absolutely fabulous, just a teeny tiny rub. I will also recommend our smoky apple wood. It is just as good on your ribs. But I always like, and excuse me, I didn't have this out because I had already put it away. I like to dry my meat off. So I dried my ribs. After I removed that membrane, I dried them off. And then I took my spritzer, okay, and I sprayed them nice and gently, okay, on both sides. You're gonna say, Joycey, why'd you do that? You're adding more fat on there. This is just a spritzing because what it does, it holds, so this is our spritzer, great tool. What it does, it holds our powder on. So when we're putting our rub on, it's gonna to connect to it instead of it flying off onto the cutting board. We don't wanna waste from the cutting board. We want it to stay on that meat. We want that meat to suck it in. So I generously, I used two teaspoons on this rack of ribs, generously on both sides. This is the beauty. That's the special hint. You have to put the rub on. Remember, dry meat first, spritz it with a little olive oil or whatever kind is your specialty oil that you like to use, and then put that rub on there. And if you want to rub it in, that's okay too, because the more rub is in there, the more that is going to suck into that meat and make it taste fantastic. So four ingredients here. What we did, we took and we took our ribs, cut the membrane off, pat them dry, put our rub on, and then we cut them into fours, put them in our rock rock. And then what we did is add one can of root beer. So any kind of root beer that you have or that you like, add in there. And then we cook these babies for six hours. Now this is our rock rock and it might be, this might be in the way, so I'm moving over a little bit. Our rock rock, that is our crock pot. It is to die for. So I've got a whole booklet of recipes that I'm gonna be sharing with you. But this beauty, this is the guy, and a lot of you guys already know about him. He's our pan that goes everywhere, everywhere pan, that goes on the grill, that goes in the broiler, that goes on the stove top, that goes in the oven, that goes in the microwave, that goes in the dishwasher, that goes in the fridge, that goes in the freezer. It goes everywhere. That's why we love him so much. And he's 780 degrees. That's why he's so cool. Now, what we've done is we put him into our other piece now and this is our crock pot so we take our rock rock we put it into here 
and it now makes our crock pot. And this is how we cooked our delicious ribs. So just let me show you a little bit about these because they are so yummy. So, and they are, oh my gosh, to fall off the bones. Look at this, the bones are falling right out of there. Oh my gosh, if you could only smell them. So right before the last hour, I took barbecue sauce and put it in there. Now, I know you guys are fancy cooks and you can make your own barbecue sauce, but you know what I found out in life? That uh, Baby Ray, Sweet Baby Ray makes just as good as I can. So that's the barbecue sauce I use. So I cheated a little bit, don't tell anybody, but we're allowed to cheat every so often. So these are our ribs and I got six slabs of ribs in here that we're gonna be eating just in a little bit soon as I'm off with you. If you don't have these, these are our large tongs. You have to have them, you cannot live without them. And I got a small uh, pair of the small babies too. Oh my gosh, and you can't wreck anything, any of your cookware, because what's it do? It's got all coated in silicone, so it can't scratch anything. But these are to die for, and they're aeronomically designed also. So wonderful tools, baby size and large size. And they're called the chef's tongs, just to let you know that what they are. So yummy in the tummy, you know uh, our rock rocks are to die for. We got an entire selection. I've got an entire cookbook to show you now. I'm going to put this back because he's going to go back over here because we're going to be having him for dinner in just a couple of minutes. Oh, and I forgot to share with you too. I put some sweet potatoes in there, whole sweet potatoes that I added in there. And he's been cooking along for those six hours. So I'm telling you, that smell is to die for. Wish we had that smell of vision. Mmm, so good. So what I want you to do is... Um, Please PM me right away if you want to get this great booklet of recipes. Look at this guy. Look at the pages in here. And this is all for our Rock Rock. Now they're all done. Print it beautifully in color. So this is something I'm going to be sending right to you my way. But you got to personal message me right away. And please let me know that you want to join my new community on um, page. This is something really special that I just started recently. And it's Phillips Chef. And that's two words. P-H-I-L-L-I-P-S space chef. Two words. This is where I'm going to be giving that great recipes, tips, discounts, mm -hmm. and they, it is unbelievable. Now this is for my exclusive crowd because we talk about food and we talk about freshness and we talk about all the specialty things that we like. So I hope you love those. I love those rock rocks. And just to share with you, they are 60% off. Yes, yes, that's what I said, 60% off in April. So you might just want to jump on board and get one of those or two or three or you might want to get that combo over there. He is to die for. That way you can make every single one of these recipes in this book. Like, oh my gosh, you'd be you'd be filled for uh, two months in advance. So, and remember, it's all about quick, easy, and healthy. That's what Joycey's all about. Quick, easy, and healthy. So what I want to do, I want to give you a little preview also about what's coming up on our next video. And you're gonna say, what in the heck is this big guy here? So just let me share it with you real quickly. I'm only going to show you one piece, but um, he's pretty cool. So you know what? It's snowing outside. It snowed all day. We were in Florida for three weeks and had to come home. We thought we really beat it this year, but we just got sucked into it. I know I have friends all over the country that I'm talking to right now, so I'm sure a lot of you have been affected. But we're going to be doing our next live video. And remember, you need to go to Philip Chef to see exactly when that's going to be. It's going to be about our grilling. And it's going to be indoor, outdoor grilling. Everybody loves to grill all year long. But some days like today, the outside grills just aren't the best to go with. So um, this is a cool tool that we have. And I'm going to be sharing this with everybody. This is our indoor, outdoor grill, which means you can go outside and use your charcoal on there. Or he's got a little plug in the back that you can be growing on your inside, uh, right in your kitchen. I found this absolutely wonderful for us to use 
because we have a condo at the beach. They don't allow us to grill outside, so he is my grill tool outside. Um, people in apartments, people that are in campers, anything like that, please take advantage of this. You wait till you hear more about it next week when I'm going to be doing that special show for you guys. So I'm not going to show you all the other grill things and the food that we're going to make. I'm just giving you a little bit of a teaser right now. So remember that day's going to be announced on that Philip Chef's special page. So remember to like me, Philip Chef. Okay, Joyce is going to show you a couple more things, and then I'm going to say bye-bye to you until next week, um, so you can all enjoy that snow day again. Kids are off tomorrow, so I hope you're having so much fun. If you need some ideas for Easter, you know, I got these eight grand, beautiful grandbabies, and number nine coming in May, and I never know what to get them. I am always, I, I feel like I'm buying them things that they don't even need and I know what they love to do because they spend a lot of time with me and they love to cook. Every single one of them, you know, even, even the one and a half year old, she's up at this counter with me all the time cooking away. Her hands are in, she, we're making messes, but they're also learning a special tool that they'll have for the rest of their lives. So if we had Grammys out there, Grammy GGs, or if we have moms and dads that want to buy special gifts for your children and just don't know what to get them, let me give you some ideas. I mean, Pampers Chef has these great packages, like this little kids. It's, it's actually a stoneware piece just for the kitties, and it's got all the special little goodies that go along with it. And then we got the pizza making set. Oh my gosh. And we have another set. I didn't even bring them all out. But this is your little pizza pan. And it's got your mini rolling pin. And it's got your mini pizza cutter. Tell me this is not adorable. And you know what, guys? These are affordable. And these are things that the kids are going to use forever and ever. Um, this is another idea. Very inexpensive. These are your little... Uh, to pancake holders that you can make your pancakes out of silicone i've tried them over and over my kitties tried them i had them all weekend and they all just absolutely loved them and then you take your little emojis and you sit on in, top of them and then you sprinkle powdered sugar in them and they feel like they're the most special cooks in the world so just quick and easy ideas and then i gotta show you one little love bug because he's next to my babies he is my baby. They're not here to demo for me. So what do you think about these cool outfits? So he's my teddy bear friend, and this is a cute PC outfit. You can buy the hat, you can buy the apron, you can buy the gloves, you can buy the whole set. How cute. Kids in the kitchen, most wonderful thing. You get them started right away, and it keeps them out of trouble as they get older. So teddy bear is saying goodbye. I know he's falling apart a little bit over here. But um, he actually lives up in the kids' bedroom with them. So uh, just to share that, uh, silly things. And I would say a lot of you guys just go right online and go to page 42 and 43. There's so many kids' ideas on there. Um, they're unbelievable. So just want to share that with you. Ideas, remember, order them by tomorrow. You will have them at your doorstep by next Wednesday. That's how quick and easy everything is nowadays. Doorstep right delivered right to you so and if you want it as a gift for your out of town uh children grandchildren or whatever we can ship directly to them also no problem at all it's only two dollars more to have a direct ship so that's pretty cheap seven dollars and 25 cents you can't get that anywhere nowadays so just wanted to share with you Joyce's things for awesome April. Awesome April means we are going to have warm weather, and that's what we're looking forward to. So my virtual shows, and you know I do a whole lot of those, are going to be fast and fresh, using fresh fruit, fresh veggies. That's what we're looking forward to. And flinging into spring, because we want everybody to eat healthy and quick, and we just want everybody to enjoy food, not just to eat the fill their bellies, but actually to get the enjoyment out of it. And then my live shows are going to be my fajitas and margaritas and the thrill of the grill. So if you guys are interested, please let me know because you know what you get. Freebies, 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 and 60% off whatever you choose. So um, you guys have joined us tonight, just like I promised. You need to 
PM me, private message me before 9.59 tonight and just say, love those ribs. And I'll know who you are and you're going to go into the drawing for our special gift tonight for anybody that joined us live on this video and the winner will be announced at 10 o'clock. So I will be back at 10 o'clock for 30 seconds just to advertise the winner of the evening. So blessings to all. Hope you recover throughout this weekend and welcome spring. We can't wait for you to get here. Love you babies. Bye-bye.